flight service or high watch frequencies. Advise on initial contact, you have information, Tango. Executive airport information, Tango 2353 Zulu, wind 200 zero zero at 10, zero, gust 16, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 28, 2.14, altimeter 29 or 4. Visual approach, runway 20 in use, landing and departing runway 20. VFR practice approaches are currently unavailable. Use caution for birds in the vicinity of the airport. Also use caution for cranes. Sacramento Executive Ground, stock 1242, number clear, runway 20 on Alpha, uh, taxi back, runway 20. Cessna 1242, November Executive Ground, runway 20. Taxi via mic, cross runway 12. Taxi via mic, uh, cross runway 1242, November, runway 20. Cessna 42, November, what's the direction of flight? We're returning to Palo Alto via Stockton, uh, 14 over. Exo Ground, Cessna 1920 Foxtrot is at the base of the tower near the fuel pump. We'd like to pick up IFR clearance to Stockton, Kilo, Sierra, Charlie, Kilo. Cessna 1920 Foxtrot Executive Ground, cleared to Stockton Airport via on departure, left turn heading 150, radar vectors Linden, as filed, climb maintain 2000, expect 5000, five minutes after departure. Departure frequency 125.25, squawk 4210. They cleared to Stockton. Uh, after departure, left turn 150, direct Linden as filed. Maintain 2000. At five minutes later, we 5000. Uh, frequency is 12525. Frequency transponder is 4210. Cessna 20 Foxtrot, left turn heading 150, then radar vectors to Linden, not direct. Left turn 150, radar vectors to Linden, then direct. Cessna 1920 Foxtrot. Cessna 20 Foxtra is left turn A150, radar vectors to Linden. You said direct, I was just correcting that to radar vectors. Affirmative, Cessna 1920 Fox. I'm also ready to taxi with the formation tango to the active. Cessna 20 Foxtra, be back to runway 20, taxi via Bravo Mike, cross runway 12. Alright, talk to Bravo Mike, cross runway 12, runway 20, Cessna 1920 Foxtra. Cessna 42 November, squawk 4207, departure frequency 125.25, 2525. 1242 November, we'll get back to you on that, please. Thank you. 42 November, Roger. All right, welcome aboard, Pilot Nas with you. Um, so today we're actually, if you just heard, we're picking up a uh, IFR flight to Stockton. I actually haven't done an IFR flight in a while, and so decided to do it. Um, I was a little confused there on what he was requesting, but it looks like we're going to be taking off, turning left to 150. And then once we do that, we're going to be going uh, radar vectors, he said. Turn left 150, radar vectors to Linden, and then uh, direct. So basically what he's saying is when we take off 150, they're going to give us uh, basically directions to Linden. Um, once we get to the runoff, we're going to set up our frequencies and make sure everything looks good and then we'll get going. Uh, so our usually, um, I booked it for 530. Uh, we have time. Uh, you know, usually once you finally pick up your IFR clearance, you're pretty much good to go, you know, as long as you don't get stuck at the runoff or something. So... But just, you know, haven't done a flight like this in a while. I've been going up uh, just here and there. I've been taking a lot of family up, so that's been uh, kind of fun, taking people up. And now, you know, a lot of people are asking me to take them up. So, you know, I, I'm, I love to kind of share when I fly and, and, and things like that. So, uh, but hopefully everyone's doing good. You know, I'm at six, I think 649 subscribers right now. I think, or sorry, 639. So I just want to appreciate all of you. Uh, for you know subscribing and liking the videos and I, I've been reading the comments. I try to get back to as many as I can I just one second here. We can clear and left clear and right and I just do that just whenever you know Because this is an active runway uh, Even though right now two zero is what's active. But if you have a, a plane coming They can actually land on this either way whenever there's an emergency as long as you get the plane down That's the main goal, right? You can land on the freeway. You can land on a road so, uh, but yeah, I want to say thank you everyone for subscribing and I hope you're enjoying the videos. I've been doing a lot of shorts, you know, just to kind of, uh, I know a lot of people, you know, have busy lives, so I get it. 
you know, I know sometimes, like this video, I know it's going to be a little long. And if you are watching, I do appreciate you. Uh, but I understand that, you know, sometimes people just don't have time to sit there and watch 30 minutes of a video, which I get it, you know? I mean, I'm a busy guy too, so. But. All right, so we are good. We got our flight plan filed. So we're going to be flying direct to Linden. And, well, he's going to radar vector us to Linden, and then we'll go to Stockton. What we'll do is we'll get all our frequencies and everything set up, and we'll get going. I still haven't bought a plane yet. <laughs> if you can tell, I'm still renting. Uh, but, you know, hey, as long as I get to fly, that's that's my biggest thing. So I'm not, you know, but I do want my own airplane, you know, just because I think that if I get my own airplane, I can do a lot more flights, I think, so. All right, so we are going to do our run-up. I might edit this out, so we'll figure it out, but let's see, okay, brakes are on, fuel selector is set to both. Uh, trim set for takeoff, flight controls for incorrect. Okay. All right, and then we got instruments, mixture for best power. We're gonna go up to 1700 RPM right now. All right, we're gonna check right, both, left, both, okay. Magnetos look good, we're gonna check our carb heat because this is an older aircraft, it's not fuel injected, it is carbureted. Okay, we got that. We have oil temperature, oil pressure in the green, full tank, we just filled it up before we left. Uh, our clock, everything looks good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a test. We're gonna pull it all the way back here, see if the engine does die, because that if we do ever need, once we go into idle, sometimes we'll do that when we're descending or something. We don't want the engine to quit on us. All right, so we'll go back up to 1,000, and we are actually really good to go. So the way this works is I'm gonna make sure that my settings are, we're gonna set this to 200. So when we take off, we kind of maintain center line. Once takeoff at 500 feet, we're actually going to turn left to 150. And then we're going to do is we're going to switch right now to tower. We got 125.25 is our frequency. So that is going to be 12525. So what we'll do is we'll put that on the bottom on standby. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to program Linden. Now, I mean, it's such a beautiful day. Like, I could have just took up. And I could have just flown there. Like, I didn't even need to even get flight following. But I like to practice my skills, you know, writing down the clearance and then talking to ATC as I go up. You know, it just basically, it helps. So here we go. We're going to basically, we set our timer. Okay, so that's there. We'll clear that out. Okay, once we take off, we'll push the timer. The reason we do that is he said expect 2,000. Okay, so we're going to be climbing to 2,000 feet. And then we're gonna, f at fi after five minutes, once the timer hits five minutes, we go to 5,000. Now the reason we do this. Second executive, Skylock 1242, November, we'd like to ask for a straight out departure. Eventually we'll turn to the southeast. Skylock 1242, November, executive tower, hold short, runway 20. Hold short, runway 2042, number. And what we'll do is we will basically. Switch 641, please turn approved, see ya. Yeah, 641. I lost my train of thought. Oh, so what happens is in case we had radio failure at takeoff, we want to get to 5,000 and we would actually continue on our on our destination all the way till we get to the airport. You know, we'll troubleshoot, we would set 7,600 radio out. Um, and then basically what we would do is we would continue. Now I have a backup radio in my bag. So for some reason I did lose my radios. I can turn that. And the nice thing is I can plug my, my headphones right into it so that's pretty cool you just plug it right into it and we're good to go um, so again I like to do this before we take off there's another plane in front of me it looks like they already got clearance so I'm gonna request IFR so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my strobes and my landing light because we are getting ready to go I think they're gonna get to go first but I'm gonna request that take waiting for IFR release and see what he says executive tower says one nine two zero Fox right runway two zero waiting for IFR release Says correction, uh, Skyhawk 1242, November Executive Tower, runner 205, takeoff straight out, departure is approved, the segment that point is making right traffic. Takeoff runway 0 with uh, straight out departure, 42 number. So the 1920 Fox Executive Tower, hold for uh, runner 20, waiting on for release. Waiting on for release, that's the 1920 Fox route. 
So the 192 Fox Trot, hold short, runway 20. Hold the short, runway 20, 192 Fox Trot. Usually when you're an IFR, you actually do it right at the run up. You don't actually do it at the line. The reason why is, let's say another plane is coming behind you, and they're, let's say, VFR. Maybe they are an IFR, you know, but they are they have priority, and you don't want to be holding up because your release could be a while, you know. So that's the thing. We wait there. Now, if you've seen, like, you know, commercial jets and all that, they, of course, go up to the line and go. And even here, right here, you know, there are commercial flights, uh, you know, private. 920 Fox Trot, Executive Tower, Run 20, clear for takeoff. Uh, departing Cessna, flying runner heading. Have the traffic in sight, uh, clear for takeoff, runway 20, so that's the 1920 Fox Trot. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set the time. Final is clear, and he told me to that, so we're going to take off. Once we have 500, we're going to turn left to, two five, uh, to 150. Heading 42 November, fly runway heading. Runway heading 42 November. Okay, so again, we're going to get going. Once we uh, get on the center line, we'll give it full power. All right, there we go, full power. All right, engine. 761 and a 20, for the option. Runway 20, clear for the option, 661. All right, so we're up in the air. Again, we're going to be climbing now. Once we get to 500, we're going to turn. Everything's looking good. Okay, now I'm going to start my left turn. 150. 1042 November, uh, contact North Tower Approach 125.25. Contact North Approach at 125.25, 42 November. November 1920 Fox Shark, contact North Tower Approach with that traffic. Good day. Good day, thank you for your help. Contact North at 192 Fox Run. Okay, I'll Cessna 1920 Fox passing through 1000 to 2000, heading 150. Cessna 1920 Fox Run, North Cal departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 4000. Climb and maintain 4000, Cessna 1920 Fox Profile Coast, uh, 1242 November at 2000, tower restricted up to uh, heading at 200 degrees. November 1242 November, North Cal departure, radar contact, so you were requested cruise out to Palo Alto. Flight thing, uh, 3000. You're going to cruise at uh, 3000? If that works, we'd like that. 1242 November, Roger, uh, traffic just departed off of executive behind you that's going south down now is another Cessna. Uh, 14 November, resume on navigation, Palo Alto. We'll resume on navigation for Palo Alto, 14 November. All right, we're going to take out our climbing checklist real quick. We're 70, 80. We're doing about 75 knots. Flaps are up. Between this, we're going to maintain our heading here, 150. Like she gave us to 4,000. So we're going to continue doing that. And while we're doing that, I'm going to make sure I have my Stockton plate ready to go. I, I think we get one more frequency before Stockton, but I'm going to put in Stockton. It's basically... I'm going to get the ILS ready, so... So it's 109. 109.1. Okay. That's good there. That's set, and we're maintaining. And even though I'm on an IFR flight plan, you still need to look outside for traffic because technically we are in VFR weather. That's 1947 North Calipari, And, you know, we want to maintain looking outside. Now I'm putting the, the VOR. Climb maintain 5,000. Climb maintain 5,000. 192 Fox Run. 
So now she cleared me to 5,000, which I think is our final altitude. So we're going to do that. I filed for 6,000. Clear, direct Stockton. Clear, direct Stockton, 1920 Foxtrot. Okay, so she gave us direct Stockton. So I had a feeling they were going to do this because I flew this route before. So I didn't actually set up my GPSs because, you know, if you set it up, you get it all in there, we're waiting, and they're going to, even though it was just one, we're going to Linden Vior. So now we're actually not going to Linden Vior. Now there is an airplane next to me. We just took off together, so I'm trying to keep an eye on him. I don't really see him, but I see him on my radar here. So we're going to continue. We're, we're good to 5,000, and we're going direct now, so we don't have to worry about the Linden VOR. November 906 with you, Scott, and traffic uh, actually looks like in the pattern at Yolo County, but uh, Squawk B4 change to advisor frequency for today. Yeah, beautiful day actually, really nice. It got cool. It was a little bumpy on takeoff, but as we got up, it was got really nice and smooth. Alpha 3196, connect search 125.4. And again now, so our 1947 traffic 12 o'clock, two miles opposite direction. Actually, looks like they're descending for Lincoln, 3,000 and 100 indicated. So what we could do is, again, I think they're going to give us one more frequency, which I think is going to be either one, two. Okay. I'm going to do one, two, three. Let's see, it's one, two, three point eight five. Okay, I think that's where then we got our ground on. So I am going to actually uh, load the approach here. So we're going to select an ILS, ILS 29 right. We're going to do vectors. We're going to ask them to do vectors. We're going to load it, okay? And that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait right now until we kind of get closer. Then we will activate the approach. Uh, once we get a little closer to it, we're going to listen to the ATIS, make sure we get the weather. Um, so I doubt we can hear it now but I'm going to try to put it in. So the ATIS is 118.25, 118.25. I do have information, Tango. Stockton Tower Information, Charlie, 2355 Zulu, 12701313, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 30, 2.12, altimeter 29905. Visual approaching use, landing, departing, runway 29 or left, and runway 29 or right. Notum, 5G advisories in effect, contact flight service for further information. Hazardous weather information is available on flight service frequencies. I advise our initial contact. You have Charlie. Stockton Tower information, Charlie, 2355 Zulu, 127013, visibility 10. Okay, so information. So we got 2905, she said. So we're going to just kind of, and then we have Tango. Is No, not Tango. What was Recent it? effect, contact flight service for further information. Hazardous weather information is available on flight service frequencies. I advise our initial contact. You have Charlie. Charlie. So we got information, Charlie. Okay, so we're going to hold that. What we're going to do is when we get there, we're going to request our um, ILS approach, vectors, one, uh, two nine right. So again, we're about 500 feet to go. We're going to level off at 5,000. Uh, technically, I don't need the VOR anymore because we are flying direct to Stockton. Um, I can actually switch this to GPS and just make sure I'm lined up. It's like I'm off a little bit. So if we head this way here, then we'll level off. Once we do that, we will go ahead and get our Our cruise checklist, and then we should be good to go. We got about 30 nautical miles. 1947, start your descent for Mesa, please. Traffic departing eastbound out of Sacramento via Boeing 737, climbing above. Thank you. There we are. We're just looking outside, making sure everything's looking good. You know, we got our play. We can actually cover. So 109.1, we got that set here. Um, approach course is going to be 294, so we can actually set that up now. So there's 270. 
Okay, so there we go. We got our thousand. So we're going to lower the nose a little. And then we should be picking up. Austin 1947, contact Major Tower 120.65. We're going to lean the mixture a little bit. Whenever you file an I for a flight plan, this is my airspace right now. Nobody can actually get into it. Um, you know, you can have, of course, people on top of you or below you, you know, but right now, like, no one can be on this. This is mine, you know, and so we're going to try to speed up a little bit here. We do have a little headwind. Okay, we're maintaining our direct. So there's another airplane besides me. It's about 2,000 feet below. I think it's the one that took off. They said that they're going to fly at 3,000 all the way to Palo Alto from Sacramento. So that's what he said. So, you know. Delta 2832 North Catapulture, radar contact. So yeah, I don't see him. I mean, he's on radar. 42 November, contact approach 125.1. 125.1, 42 number. So he just switched off of her. So she might be switching me soon. Justin 20 Foxtrot Connect Coach, 125.1. 125.1, says the one answer Fox, right? Good day. Okay. NorCal, Swift 90383, 5 west of Columbia, VFR to Oscar 69, Petaluma. 90383, where you, uh, what was your aircraft type? Say again. Aircraft type? I'm sorry, Globe Swift, Gulf Charlie 1, climbing to uh, 6.5. Delta 93083, squawk 5321. 5321, Swift 90383. Approach, Cessna 1920 Fox, we're with you at 5000. 1920 Fox, we're at Calipro, stock count, 7295. 2995, Cessna 0 3 to contact, 4 miles or 5 miles west of the Columbia Airport, stock now 32 9 5 9 5 3 3 thank you. Okay, so we got switched. I think that'll be it. I think we'll be set to tower, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to the tower frequency, which is 118.25. Looks like that's there. 0 9 0 Golf, radio service terminated, squawk VFR, frequency change approved every day. Norcal Cessna, 1920 Fox, over the approach request. Oh, look, I'll approach someone's coordinates again. Cessna, 1920 Fox, over the approach request. No, 20 Fox, right, go ahead. Oh, yes, well, Dr. the ILS 29 right into Stockton, vectors. Uh, I'm going to do a full stop landing, and I have information in Charlie. Cessna, 1920 Fox, right. 20 Fox, right, Roger, expect here momentarily. Thank you, 1920 Fox, right. Okay, so I asked that I want to do the ILS show. And don't worry, 083, make sure you're going to Oscar 69. That's the firm, Petaluma. I tried putting the wrong destination there. My apologies. I'm going to just walk over for you here in a moment. 083. No, 903083, uh, squawk 4530. 4530, and the call sign is 90380. 383, sorry, 90383. I will fix it as well, sorry. And NorCal, a call 442 is 11300, descending 8000, direct a hut information, Charlie, for the ILS approach. Call 442, NorCal approach, stock now center 2995, send maintain 7000. Down to 7000, call 442. And number 33, uh, three, squawk 4530. 4530 for 383. 
NorCal approach 251 Lima Alpha leveled at 5,500. 251 Lima Alpha, NorCal approach, stock now, Soder 2995. 2995, 1 Lima Alpha. Two zero nine Julia Alpha, connect approach one two four point eight. Have a good day. Number one hundred two zero Fox Road, fly heading one two zero. Vectors to final. One two zero vectors to final. One hundred two zero Fox Road. Okay, so you told me to fly heading one two zero. So now that we good, we can actually go ahead and load. So we're going to do activate. Okay, so we basically activated our our approach. Number eight two Julia, turn right, ending one eight zero. One eight zero eight two Julia. Okay, we're going heading one two zero. We're maintaining five thousand. We got to make sure we maintain that five thousand. Uh, now we gotta, we're gonna actually go ahead and go to our V lock because we did the ILS and it's, we're gonna set it to 2.9 or 4. Uh, West Coast 35. So I've been having some trouble with the GoPro. Um, it's been shutting off and turning back on and I've been kind of trying to adjust it in flight. So um, there are gonna be some kind of parts skipped. Also, just wanted to let you know that unfortunately I wasn't able to capture the ILS into Stockton. Indicated about talking to him. Be advised, I might need to hold you if the aircraft stays in the vicinity. I got the fielded site for call 442. Call 442, Roger. I'm going to turn you ahead of him. Turn right heading 220. Right turn 220, call 442. So, yeah, so as I was saying, um, unfortunately, I couldn't get the ILS into Stockton. Um, this is actually going to be uh, part one of the flight to Stockton. I do have the return flight from Stockton to Sacramento, and I have basically the whole uh, you know, landing sequence and, and the flight back over to Sacramento. So uh, once this ends, uh, go ahead and part two will be available uh, once I'm completed with editing that video as well. But again, I was having some issues with the GoPro. It just kept shutting off in flight. Um, eventually, I'm going to just go ahead and buy a new GoPro. I'm using the GoPro 3. And so uh, I've been looking to get a new GoPro 9 or 10, which I'm going to go get that pretty soon. After this experience, unfortunately, where it just kept shutting off on me, I realized that I do need a new camera. So I want to apologize, um, but if you sit tight, finish this video, and then hopefully you like and subscribe it. And then you go ahead and watch part two, which will have the flight taking off from uh, Stockton in flight. You actually don't see the takeoff. It will be in flight, and then I'll pick it up from there and flying back to Sacramento. Thank you again. Sir, 1920 Fox Trot, descend to maintain 4000. Descend to maintain 4000, 1920 Fox Trot. Call 442, they are talking to the tower as well. Radio service terminated, remainder beat code, contact Livermore Tower. Have a good night. Over to Livermore Tower, thanks for all the help. Call 442, good day. Okay, we're just starting our descent. So we got our descent checklist going on here. Our mixture rich in fuel selector on both car feet as required. So we are going to go ahead and full mixture. I turn on the car feet since we are coming down. Uh, we got, we're descending about 500 feet per minute. Number 444, switch matter frequency 120.95. 22, repeat, six, six, four. It's a 2095, 120.95. 120.95, four. Yeah, so I do see Stockton Airport, and I requested a full stop, so I'm going to actually land, and then I'm going to come off the runway. And sure, sure, nice to sell you Kilo. We're going to do a practice on Ave into Livermore. How is that starting at you live? 66444, thanks for the switch. Cast altimeter is 2994. 5 Kilo, what approach did you want to do? Let's do the on 25 right into Livermore, starting at Uhat for 97 Kilo. 5 Kilo, Roger, TV, part of Uhat, report established. Hey, Freddie, you had a report established. Thank you. West Coast 55, Connect Open Center, 121.25. Have a good day. Again, I hope this is working. It says it is, so... It says it's busy recording. Your GoPro is busy recording. Preview's not available. Well, so... 
Okay, there we are, we're coming up on 4,000. So we're going to kind of give us some power. So the craft has one information available for more information on the flight service. So in two zero fox route, so maintain 3,000. Just maintain 3,000, one two zero fox route. Okay, so we're going to come back down now to 3,000. So again, we're going to reduce our power, lower the nose. We don't want to go too, you know, you want to try to do 500 feet per minute, especially in these 172s, you know. We want to come down nice and slow. I do see the airport in sight. It's off to my right there. Um, he's giving me vectors to final. Then he'll switch me to tower. And then we will shoot the ILS approach and we'll stop, we'll taxi back. Because I think it's just a long taxi to try to get all the way to the uh, to there. So I'll just, re you know, once I get to ground, I'll request taxi back and then I'm just gonna request a um, I might just request, you know, just take off, like just go, like I'm not going to even maybe talk to anybody. We'll see. So there we go, we're coming down at 3,000. So basically we could be at... Uh, 1242 November, traffic 12 o'clock, 3 miles northbound, kind of maneuvering, 3,300 indicated. Welcome to traffic 14 November. And it's just, you know... I was really excited when I got my instrument flight, or you know, my instrument license, and I like to do these. I haven't done one in a while, because uh, I've been just going up and down. Um, I think the last time I did an instrument flight was back in December. Yeah, I think it was December. And, you know, the weather was, I actually wasn't high for conditions on takeoff. I have read that recorded, so if you want to check that out, go ahead and check that out. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's good to, you know, pick up an IFR clearance and just, you know, do the whole thing, you know? Um, so I still haven't taken my multi-engine commercial, I'm still waiting on that, uh, you know, but hopefully I'll do that soon. And then, I don't know, I, like I mentioned, uh, I think on another video, uh, I might be, I'm thinking of actually, let me put the carb heat in a little bit, give us some more power so we can kind of maintain our 3000. You know, I'm thinking of maybe getting my instructor rating. It's funny, so I talked to an instructor just now who works for the flight school where I rent. And he's like, oh, he's leaving. I'm like, oh, man, okay. Um, so, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically do my ground my own, on my own. There's a cool Cessna, Cessna program, and I did it for my instrument, and I really did well. I, I got like a 92 or 95% on the written. And so I'm thinking of just doing that again. Uh, I'm hoping that by this coming month in June, I'll be done with the uh, multi-engine commercial. Because once I'm done with that, then I really want to focus on studying. And then I think I could just go ahead and you know study for the exam, do it. You know, do it like I, what I did for the Cessna was, or for the instrument is I used the same you know for the same program. And I used to kind of study every day and take it and read. It was cool because you know they have videos and reading and instruction. And it really helps, and then they have like practice tests throughout, so, you know, I'm thinking of doing it, and then uh, once I get that, you have usually like two years to complete your flight portion, and I'll just jump right into it, I'll just go... No, one, two, four, two, number, check, no factor. You know, I'll jump right into it. Four, two, number, thank you. And I'll basically, uh, you know, do it, and then hopefully I'll... W one, of, one of the coolest uh, DPEs uh, I've met, and, and you know, I've only really met, let's say, four DPEs. Um, eventually, once I seven two four ten, I should traffic twelve o'clock, five miles maneuvering, five thousand nine hundred indicated. I like four ten, I say. One hundred two zero Fox Trot, just to maintain two thousand. Just to maintain two thousand. That's the one nine two zero Fox Trot. Okay, we're going to come down here. I want to. Get off course here because we're supposed to fly one one two zero here. Um, after I do my, you know, my uh, what should we call it, my multi. Hello, hello, or Cal approach. Hopefully, I'm not talking. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. But um, you know, that's correct. It's still zero one three three zero. Uh, after
after I do my multi-engine commercial, that would be my 50P. So, of course, I had, actually, I think it would be my 6. So, I had a private DPE, one private, multi-engine DPE, two, instrument DPE, three, then I had the commercial, four, right? So, that's four. Then, if I do the instrument, or sorry, the, did I even do instrument? Let's see. So, let me recount. We got private, multi, Instrument, commercial, right, instrument, commercial, okay, then multi-engine commercial, and then CFI. So I'll basically have met, or I would have taken it with six DPEs when I'm all said and done. And I did, and I did two with, um, actually, let me set this up to, so 1920 Foxtrot, turn right, heading 140. I turn right heading 140, 1920 Foxtrot. Report check, your traffic's still at 10 o'clock and about three miles circling now, 6,300 indicated. All right, we're looking for 10 o'clock, sorry. I got him inside, 4 10 o'clock, sorry. 4 10 o'clock, So what we're doing is I'm just getting ready for the Modesto VOR and it says to turn 01, so I'm gonna put this to one. Uh, approach, uh, one lane alpha advised we're descending into Lodi. Only my office, Clark VFR, frequency change approved. Have a great night. Clark VFR, frequency change approved. Thanks for the help. Only my office. So I got a little turbulence right now. So I don't, you can't really tell on the camera. Um, but I do got some turbulence. We're going down to 2000. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to intercept the ILS for 29 or right. And once we do that, we'll land, we'll stop, we'll taxi back, and then we'll just take off again. Okay, well, Kilo. We haven't reached Delta a little more. Okay, so we're about to get to 2000. We're just going to continue on until we get to 2000. 140. Put on our car beat and then just kind of give us some power again. Okay, so we're going to do a mixture rich. We got fuel selector on both. We're going to do our trim once we get closer. We got all our lights on, you know. Again, we got, we're set to 109.1. We have everything set there, dialed up. So we are good to go for our landing here in Stockton. Another thing you want to do is make sure that you tune to the ILS and you listen to the Morse code just to confirm that the ILS is operational. Number 1020 Foxtrot, turn right heading 200. Turn right heading 200, 1920 Foxtrot. All right, so 200. We are going to be right in the sun, so I'm going to put down this blind. And usually you don't want to turn more than... 444, Roger. Foxtrot, six miles from the final approach fix, turn right heading 260, maintain 2000 until established on the localizer, cleared ILS, runway 200 approach. Turn right 260, maintain to on the ILS approach for 200 right, says one two Foxtrot, maintain 2000. Number 1645, Julian, our caliper, two hundred frequency. Under 033 traffic 2, moving to your 3 o'clock and 5 miles southbound 6000 Cherokee. 383 is looking. Number 
one two four two number traffic two to uh, one to two o'clock and five miles east northeast bound two thousand five hundred indicated. Looking for traffic uh, four two number. And under zero three three turn ten degrees left vectors for traffic. Ten degrees left. Swift three eight three. Okay, we got it. We're established. We start our turn. Two nine or four. Approach one inch is your Fox and establish ILS 29 right. Which is your Fox and Roger traffic uh, off your left behind you about a mile is northeast bound 1800 indicated. We'll try to look for that traffic one inch is your Fox route. Which is your Fox route. So make sure they go behind you and I'll switch over to the tire. Affirmative one inch is your Fox route. Traffic in sight, uh, 14 over. Fortune over, Roger. <coughs> Door 3, 3, resume navigation, contact Travis approach, 119.9, have a good day. Going direct, Travis 1, say again for the freak for Travis. 3, 3, you can resume your own navigation and Travis approach on 119.9. 119.9, so long, sister, 3, 3. Over 2, 0, Fox Rot, contact Dr. Tower. Contact Dr. Tower, 1, 2, 0, Fox Rot. Hazardous weather information for Northern California, both available on flight service frequencies. Device initial contact, you have Delta. Stockton Airport, ATIS, Delta, 0055. Stockton Tower, 1920 Fox, or ILS 29 right. November 1920 Fox, Stockton Tower, wind 240 at 13, runway 29 right, cleared to land. Clear to land, 29 right, and system 1020 Fox, right. Just to maintain our 2000 until we get to the approach there. We're almost there. And then we'll start our, basically we'll give our power to 1700, or sorry, 1500, and then we'll, I can see the runway of course, but you know, if we were in IFR conditions, we would be really just using our needles. Again, there's about one minute left. Um, unfortunately, you don't get to see the landing. I'm going to, you know, the approach does come down a little bit, but then it will end. And then I'll pick up in the video flying back to Sacramento. Again, I do apologize for that. Okay, make sure it's rich. Feel select is on both. And we are, again, we're waiting a little bit. Technically, we have to be at 1800 once we pass that, so we're still good. Okay, so now we can start our descent. So we're going to go ahead and do 1500 RPM. And we're going to do uh, 10 degrees of flaps. We've got the runway in sight there, but we're going to continue on. Okay, we're a little high on the glide slope. So I'm going to go ahead and get down there. 